Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to use uh, Coil and uh, Coil is an uh, image loading library for Android backed by uh, Kotlin coroutines and uh, Coil stands for a uh, coroutine image loader. Uh, this is a fast, lightweight, uh, easy to use and modern library. So uh, Coil is not just a simple image loading library which uh, lets you download uh, and display image from the URL into your Android application. It also have uh, different kind of transformations which you can apply on your uh, image. So uh, for example we can have a corner radius for our image view, we can uh, make our image view a circle, we can apply a blur to our image, uh, we can even uh, use some uh, placeholders to show when uh, our uh, image is loading and uh, also we can apply some uh, fading animation. Okay and uh, now I'm going to show you all the interesting stuff which you can use from this uh, library. So first uh, what you need to do, uh, you need to copy this uh, dependency okay, and you need to add that to your project. So let's get back to our Android Studio and uh, here is our uh, simple uh, activity main layout. So here we have only one uh, image view and uh, before we continue using uh, Coil, uh, first you need to check if you have uh, internet permissions. So be sure to add that in uh, Android manifest file. Uh, then inside this uh, Gradle build file be sure to have this Maven central uh, repository. And uh, here as well uh, you need to check if you have this uh, Coil uh, dependency and those uh, compile options and Kotlin options as well. All right. So next inside our main activity, we're going to uh, use this Coil library. So first, we're going to get the reference of our image view, and then we're going to use a method named the load, and that's all we need to do. Okay. And inside the parameters, we need to paste the URL of our image. All right. So let's run the app and uh, let's see how will that uh, look like. Okay, so it looks uh, very nice and uh, we just did that with uh, one line of code and uh, now I'm going to show you how to use a uh, different kind of transformations and uh, some more interesting stuff with uh, this uh, library, okay? Uh, so first we're going to start by using a crossfade uh, animation. So here just type uh, crossfade and uh, set that to true. Now let's run our app and let's see that uh, fade in animation. So uh, if you haven't seen that uh, properly, let's uh, increase the duration of this uh, crossfade effect. So here we're going to set the duration to, for example, 1000 uh, uh, milli uh, milliseconds. And now let's run the app and you will see a little bit slower, okay? And there it is, so this uh, fade in animation looks uh, very nice. Alright, so here I'm going to also uh, show you how to add a placeholder and placeholder is basically an image which will show here before this image is uh, downloaded. So let me first decrease the duration here for example to 400 milliseconds and now I'm going to add a placeholder here. I have already added the one placeholder image so we're going to use that one and uh, it, is, it looks uh, something like that, okay. So uh, let's run the app and let's see that placeholder. Okay, so you saw that uh, placeholder uh, was uh, shown and displayed here uh, successfully before our image uh, was downloaded. Alright, so now I'm going to remove that and now let me show you some uh, different uh, transformations which you can use. So type here transformations and here we're going to start by using a rounded corner transformation. And inside the parameters we can specify the radius for each and every corner or we can specify a radius for all corners together. So here for example I'm going to type uh, 30f and let's run the app to see uh, how will those corners look like now. So as you can see uh, those corners are curved a little bit. So we can even increase that value for example to 100. Let's run that to see how will that look. And as you can see it looks uh, very nice. Okay so uh, next one I'm going to show you another transformation. So we're going to remove this rounded corner and we're going to add a circle crop uh, transformation. Okay, so this will make a circle out of our image. And there it is. So it looks uh, very nice as well. Uh, next one I'm going to show you uh, is called the gray scale transformation. And it will basically make our image uh, in a gray or a black and white. As you can see it looks uh, very nice as well. And the last transformation which I want to show you is a blur, blur transformation. Uh, here we need to pass uh, two parameters. The first one is application context, so let's pass that. 
and the second parameter is the radius so for the radius uh, we're going to type uh, for example 20f and let's run the app to see how will that look so as you can see our image is now blurred okay and it looks uh, very nice so uh, you might wondering uh, how can we apply uh, multiple transformations uh, on one image uh, and we can do that uh, very easily uh, inside this transformations method we can just uh, separate those transformations with a comma and now we can for example add uh, uh, rounded corners transformation and here we can add uh, for example a radius to I don't know 50 F and let's run those two and now you can see that we have a, a blur and a rounded corners transformations as well so you can add uh, basically all transformations here and uh, that will be all for this video uh, thank for watching I hope you enjoyed please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one I'm a legend when they lay me down to